From downtown Detroit, Local 4 News First at 4 starts now. Good Thursday afternoon. I'm Devin Skillian in for Karen tonight. In just hours, Democrats and Republicans will share the same field after both parties decided to move forward with their annual baseball game in a show of unity and a show of strength. Quick update first. Right now, Congressman Steve Scalise remains in critical condition after undergoing his third surgery this afternoon. Oakland County native lobbyist Matt Micah injured in the shooting, also still in the hospital, as is one of the members of the Capitol Hill police force that was there. A congressional staffer shot in his leg has been released and credits the two Capitol police officers for saving his life as well. I'm OK. Uh, I'm, I'm very blessed to be alive. Uh, and thank goodness for, for agents Bailey and Greiner, you know, as, as, as you all said, without them, there would have been tremendous loss of life, uh, and I probably wouldn't be talking to you all. That's pretty much been the take from everybody who was there yesterday. Matt Micah's family, meanwhile, has released a statement to Local 4, and it reads, uh, Matt was shot multiple times in his chest and arm and suffered massive trauma. He remains in critical condition in the ICU at George Washington University Hospital. He requires assistance to breathe and will need additional surgeries. Matt has been alert, conscious, and communicating through notes. Our thoughts are with Matt and his family back here. It has been a very emotional two days at the U.S. Capitol as lawmakers grapple with this violence uh, that has threatened the congressional tradition. But that charity baseball game, as I mentioned, is going to go on tonight. Let's get back to Kimberly Gill. She's outside Nationals Park in Washington with more on the mood at the Capitol today. Kim? Hi, Devin. Good afternoon. Well, as you mentioned, they went back to work today, and for the most part, it was a regular day, I guess as regular of a day that it could be considering the circumstances that happened on yesterday. And, I, and when I say regular, I mean, um, you know, they had debate, they had votes. Um, I was able to talk to a couple of our Michigan representatives, and they described to me what it was like going back to work uh, and the emotion being there on the floor today. Take a listen. It's been really emotional. I mean, just as I run into my colleagues, some of those uh, people who were there at the site of the shooting who were, you know, really threatened by it, it's just hard to have those conversations and, and hear what they went through. So yeah, it's been a tough, tough day and a half or so. I mean, so many hugs on the floor, so many acknowledgements. I'm glad you're okay. You know, um, everyone's praying for those who are injured. So it's, it's that coming together, I hope it lasts. And both Representative Kildee and Representative Lawrence uh, talked about too the importance of being here and playing this game tonight uh, that is set to take place about seven o'clock. We will be here for that. We'll have live reports throughout the day at five, six and eleven. Uh, until then, Devin, we'll send it back to you for the news of the day uh, in Detroit, and we'll see you coming up a little bit later. Yeah, quick question, Kimberly. I, I've been thinking a lot about the staff members. I think the members of Congress know uh, that they're high profile and that they might be targeted. But after I talked to Kelly Ford yesterday, who's uh, Mike Bishop's communications director, and it just got me thinking about uh, these poor staff members who uh, find themselves in a situation that maybe they uh, really don't expect to be a part of. You're right, and uh, everybody that I talked to, Devin, they're worried, but uh, yeah. you have to live your life, and uh, and that's pretty much the sentiment of, of everybody that I spoke with, um, and uh, it's, it's unfortunately the world that we live in now, and, yeah. and they are aware of that, but as you said, they have public jobs. They want to be close to the public. A lot of times uh, that involves them uh, telling the public where they are at any given time, yeah. and if it yeah. can happen at an, an in a innocent place like a baseball field, it can happen anywhere. So certainly uh, it's something on all of their minds. All right, Kim, stay with uh, Kim and me through five and six here, and then uh, watch Lester Holt and the entire NBC team on nightly news tonight at 630. We'll get back to Kimberly in Washington.